Well, hello everyone. My name is Courtney Slack. I am the undergraduate recruiting manager here in the School of Business. I am so happy to hear, be here with all of you today. Um, and congratulations to each and every one of you on your acceptance to Duquesne. Um, to tell you a little bit about our business program, um, at the, we are the Palumbo Donahue School, School of Business. And our goal is to prepare you to be a responsible leader who makes a difference both in your career and in the world. And we do that by taking you on an exciting experiential journey designed to instill success skills and also prepare you for the real world. Um, Hands-on experience-based learning is really the model of our teaching in the School of Business. And that's what makes us different. Um, business cannot just be learned from a textbook. Business cannot just be learned from a lecture. It needs to be practiced. It needs to be applied to real world situations. So if you wanna be successful. Um, so as a business student, you will be working on projects with real companies throughout your entire time at Duquesne. Um, regardless of which of our nine majors you choose from, you will be working on client projects, developing marketable business knowledge and professional skills while also having the opportunity to network and build connections that lead to internships and employment. Um, you know, about 90% of our business students complete at least one internship during their time at Duquesne, uh, with many completing two, three, four, even five internships. Um, of course, much of that is through the opportunities we can provide for on-campus networking, but of course that also comes from being within walking distance of a major metropolitan city like Pittsburgh. Uh, as a former business student myself who also attended college right here in the city of Pittsburgh. Um, being in the city as a business student will truly enhance your college experience more than you can even imagine. Um, on campus, of course, we've built some really exciting cutting edge learning spaces that support that project-based learning. Um, so really quickly, I just want to show you guys a couple of pictures of um, Rockwell Hall, which is home to our School of Business. Let me share this with you. All right, so when you enter Rockwell Hall, this is what you'll see. Um, you will see our atrium. To the right out of picture, you would normally see our cafe, which is the Business Leader Bistro. Um, but if you look ahead, you see a stock ticker. Um, that is our Institute for Investment Strategy. Oh, there we go. Um, and that's equipped with financial research uh, technology and analysis technology that real traders actually use on Wall Street. Our students get to actually use that in class to make real investment decisions. On the fourth floor of our building, you'll find our Center for Excellence in Entrepreneurship. Um, this is our maker space, which is just one part of the center, um, but it includes a bunch of power tools and advanced technology like 3D printers. Um, it certainly doesn't look like your typical business classroom, but that's personally my favorite place in Rockwell Hall. Um, but our students can use all of these tools and technology to build and prototype their products um, for their entrepreneurship classes. Down the hall, you'll find our Center for Leadership and Professional Selling, um, which is equipped with digital recording technology to record in-class sales simulation projects and presentations with real corporate clients. And lastly, I just wanted to finish off with a look at what a typical classroom might look like in Rockwell Hall. Um, as you can see, it is definitely on the smaller end, which means individualized attention from our professors. Um, and that's something that you know, I'm sure you've heard a lot about about Duquesne, we're certainly a community. The school of business is no different. Um, we are certainly a community that is personally invested in your success. So once again, congratulations on your acceptance of Duquesne and we look forward to welcoming you to the Duquesne community. Um, I'll drop my contact information in the chat here, but I'm here to answer any questions. Hi, I'm Chantel Davis and I am a student affairs specialist with the Bayer School of Natural and Environmental Sciences. Um, and mainly I handle some recruiting and student organizational affairs on campus. Uh, as of right now, we have um, two of our main uh, student organizations that are focused uh, on diversity are the uh, Multicultural STEM Group, uh, which we run a tutoring program through and also a peer mentoring program through. Uh, so students who are interested are able to uh, kind of fill out these applications throughout the summer and they'll be matched with an upperclassman who's uh, able to kind of walk them through their classes, make sure that they have everything they need, they know where their resources and things are. Um, so we really get hands on with our students from the jump. Uh, we also have a program called SACNIS, uh, which is more geared towards our uh, 
Hispanic and Latin American student uh, uh, on campus. Um, and they are just getting started. This is their first year. And so we hope to have these students going to conferences and things, I guess, as uh, the nation permits. Um, but we are really, really uh, focused on, you know, giving our students the resources that they need to succeed uh, in collaborating with other departments on campus. Um, another highlight that we have for our students is that they're able to uh, get involved in science research as early as their freshman year, uh, which is something that you don't see too often, but we, again, we want to make our students as competitive as possible. So again, equipping with all the appropriate resources and things that we have available. Um, so if there's a lab or if there's a professor that's working on something that you're interested in, all of our students are really encouraged to get out there and reach out um, and get involved with those labs as early as possible. Um, Again, we have uh, something called the Summer URP, which isn't happening at the moment. Uh, we're figuring out ways to work that out remotely. But again, we have students come from all over the country to come and do research, uh, paid research on campus for 10 weeks. Um, and again, that is something that helps our students become more competitive uh, and get involved with their uh, environment, get involved with the campus, and get involved with their peers as well. Um, so we have for students who are undecided, who are maybe uh, haven't committed to a specific discipline, our largest major would probably be our biology major, uh, followed by our chemistry. Um, our forensic science program is really, really well known. Um, and then our smaller departments, which would be more so the physics, the environmental science, and those things. Uh, but within that freshman year, all of those majors are working together uh, in a lecture style hall. Um, and they are collaborating and having some of the overlapping classes while they're figuring out uh, the discipline and making sure that that's exactly what they want to do. Um, our our uh, academic advisors are very, very involved with our students from coming in. So there's always a meeting going on. Um, so as much as you're going to be meeting uh, with the spiriting department, as well as the academic department, the student life department, <laughs> residence life, all over, you're going to have all the supports and services that you need uh, to kind of succeed on campus, uh, no matter what facet of life that you have going on. Um, and so as a, along with those academic supports, we want to make sure you have those social supports as well because retention is really important for us because we want to make sure that you come in and that you're successful and that you get what you need from this experience at Duquesne. Um, so we are working on cultivating more of a close knit, um, I guess, environment on campus. And so that's what we're aiming to do with our student groups who are very involved. I uh, know we've done some collaborations just across disciplines, just trying to get everybody involved on campus. Um, and that's been so great. Um, our uh, Dean, Dean uh, Reeder, is very, very involved as well as our assistant Dean, uh, Dr. Palmer, uh, who was on last uh, the last call. Um, and so they, they go out of their way to make sure that the students know who they are. There's an open door policy. Um, they kind of serve as mentors in a way, uh, making sure that you have the connections. And if they don't have the answer, they're going to put you in contact with someone else who has the answers. Um, and so with our school, we like to say that we are a, a mid-sized school with large school resources, uh, just because we're right down the road from Pitt and Carnegie Mellon, which are huge research institutions and things like that. Uh, and so we like to say that we, you know, we can dabble in the same pools as them, but we're able to give that attention that we need to the students because our class sizes are smaller. Uh, we have smaller, um, you know, we have more one-on-one -on -one availability with our faculty and staff. Um, so we're able to kind of commit to the students and still give them the resources that they need to succeed, uh, which is something that we really pride ourselves on. Uh, we've just recently had some renovations in the building. So we have some new labs that have just got done and are opening up. Um, we got some new departmental things. So depending on what, what uh, discipline you're in, you're going to see some different things down there. I know we got some new equipment down in the forensics labs. We got some new biology labs. Um, so we're trying to make sure that we're up to date with all the most modern technology and the resources uh, so that the students can take whatever ideas that they're having in their head and be able to make them into a reality. So uh, just want to, um, I guess if you're still on the fence or you're unsure, just really want to confirm that for our STEM students, our science students, 
Um, we definitely have the supports in place. Uh, we have the resources and we are very, very excited to have you come out. Um, and so feel free, my, this is my contact information there. So you can contact me um, if you have any questions, myself or Dr. Palmer, um, the email will probably be the best because I'm not in the office. But uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to reach out if there is anything I didn't touch on because I feel like, you know, I'm going over around in circles or anything like that. Um, reach out. Um, I'd love to talk to you further. We have some accepted student days coming up. Um, and so we're going to be planning those and sending out, we actually have one going on right now, that's where Dr. Palmer is, uh, but we're going to be having some more in the future and just trying to keep in, as engaged as possible. So if you are looking for that information or, if, you know, we can uh, collaborate, I can send that link out to anyone who's available or, or who's interested in that. Good afternoon at this point in the day. Uh, thanks for having me. My name is uh, Philip Palmer. I'm Assistant Dean. Um, within the Bear School of Natural and Environmental Sciences at Duquesne University. Uh, one of the things I guess I'll start out with saying is that we're working with uh, Dr. Griggs on identifying students who want to potentially come over to the Bear School as early as possible. One of the things that we are trying to do is get them to come over and get in, start, to get, start getting engaged with some of the scientific student groups so that they can build those networks early so uh, in their second year when they're trying to make the transition. Um, it'll be an easier transition. Also, we like to introduce them to some of the faculty within the departments that they wish to transfer into. Uh, some of the programs that we have, so if you're coming to the Bear School, you're gonna be interested in things like bio, biology, uh, chemistry, biochemistry, physics, environmental science and management, or forensic science and law. Some of the newer things that we're doing right now is that um, we are building our what we call four plus one programs. That's where you get a master's degree um, in five years. So you can get a master's degree in environmental science, um, uh, chemistry, biotechnology, uh, secondary education, and also very soon a professional master's in physics as well. We're working on some newer things with Pitt Public Health that's down the pipeline as well. Um, I think what we do here within the Bear School is that we prepare you for the job market. We prepare you to be a great candidate for graduate programs such as PhD programs in science. Also, we prepare you very well to go to professional schools such as med medicine, dentistry, uh, veterinary medicine, and podiatry, things like that. Uh, one of the, I think one of the things that we really do a very great job of is preparing you through undergraduate research. Um, we place a high premium on uh, getting that type of experiential learning. Um, last summer alone, we had over 100 students uh, engaged in undergraduate research programs. Um, unfortunately, this summer, that's probably not going to be the case, but we have done in the past um, a great job of training our students, most of which were our own Duquesne students uh, in that fact. And so we also collaborate with a lot of other organizations on campus, such as the Office of Career Development, they help us in preparing our students for a number of things, resume, CV building, um, specialized classes in terms of preparing for interviews, things like that. We also collaborate with the Center for Engaged Teaching and Research because a lot of our students have an interest in service learning or community engagement. Um, we also collaborate with international programs because as a science student, a lot of our, our students feel like they don't or can't do um, uh, study abroad programs, but they actually can. And we have some newer ones that are specifically designed for the month of May, which uh, we call May Masters here. So that's another opportunity to, to explore um, as well. We also collaborate with some organizations within our community and the scientists, such as the Pittsburgh Biotech Association, uh, Citizen Science Lab, the Allegheny County Health Department, and uh, we have some collaborations going on with the McGee Women's Research Foundation. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff happening within the, within the uh, basic science school is what I like to call us. And um, I'll also leave my information in case you wanna reach out and ask questions about how to really make that transition successful. Thank you for having me. Hi, my name is Bill Clue and I'm the Director of Undergraduate Recruitment in the McAnulty College of Liberal Arts. Uh, we are the oldest uh, school within the university. Uh, we were founded 
well, when the university was founded before that kind of specialization kind of occurred. We encompass all of the humanities, the social sciences, as well as the math and computer science. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sorry, I'm joining from another Zoom call and I'll be headed back to a Zoom call. But uh, it, we work hand in hand with the folks in the uh, Gus and Spiritan division uh, to kind of make that process of transferring within the schools very easy. Uh, you'll get a great start in the division uh, and the, the classes that are part of the cohort experience will satisfy requirements and also uh, count towards any majors uh, that might be applicable. Uh, distinctions or areas of distinction, uh, our communication department is nationally ranked. Uh, we've got a very strong and vibrant computer science program. That's one that's really gaining steam, a lot of uh, students and growth in that as well as our political science. Uh, if Unfortunately, we're not able to be face to face on campus, but if we were, you would see that we are steps from downtown and one of the kind of high marks of uh, an education in the McAnulty College is the opportunity to do internships. So every major within the college has an internship course associated with it, meaning you can do an internship, get credit towards your major uh, and gain practical experience. We also offer a lot of different undergraduate research opportunities and that's something that uh, it's still maybe early to think about or especially with kind of the world as it is right now but if I had any advice to give to you it would be to get in make connections with your instructors um, most for going forward but also uh, our faculty do a lot of interesting research um, Dr. Yola in our computer science department he made the news uh, couple years back, he was the one who outed, if you will, uh, JK Rowling. Uh, she was writing under a, a pseudonym and the algorithm that he developed uh, was able to identify the writing as hers, even though it was published under a different name. Uh, our math department also does research and our media department uh, has ample opportunities to get out, get engaged with the community, uh, I'm trying to think of every other history department. Uh, Pittsburgh has some excellent museums and students, if you're interested in kind of public history, those opportunities exist very, very close by to campus. Uh, and small class size, if that's not been touched upon, I know the division classes tend to be very small by design and by their very nature, but the college also, uh, we most classes will be 35 or fewer students with many of the upper levels dipping under 25. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please that email uh, is maybe the best way. Uh, my phone uh, does forward to a, our administrative assistant, but uh, with us being kind of working remotely, that email address is uh, probably a good way to contact me. And if you have any, any questions at all about Duquesne, about any of the majors within the college, please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out. Good afternoon. How is everybody? We are so glad that you decided to join us. My name is Anita Huff and I'm one of the assistant directors in the Office of Admission. It's always great to meet the students outside of just receiving your application. Uh, it's great to be able to speak with you, also to see you if we can. Uh, but we encourage you, if you have any questions, contact our office. We will be glad to assist you. And we just thank you for joining us today. I'm Allison Petrucci. I work in the financial aid office at Duquesne, and I'm very happy to be here. Um, the Spiritan Division is is one of my favorite divisions to work with. I feel like they're, you know, a, a very supportive family, and I hope that you find that our financial aid office is no exception to that. Um, we do realize that, you know, this whole process can be very overwhelming and intimidating. Um, people are at different levels of financial aid. Sometimes you already have a sibling that has gone through the process. Sometimes it's your first time. So financial aid is not a one size fits all. Um, so at this time, I would like to encourage all of you to reach out to the financial aid office and um, address any of your questions or concerns. Um, you know, sometimes you have some, you know, private information that might change your eligibility. So, you know, you would want to discuss that with the financial aid office to see if there's anything that we can do to assist, um, especially with the COVID disrupt disruption. 
um, you know, I would, I would encourage you to um, email us at faoffice at duq.edu and we can get you in contact with your financial advisor, the one that you'll work with for the duration and you can start developing your relationship with one of us. And if you have any questions, um, I'll drop the email again in the chat box and we'll be ready to assist you. I'm, I know I'm keeping this short and sweet. <laughs> um, I could talk for hours because I'm super nerdy, but um, you know, I, I want others to share their information today too. So I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you on campus. My name is Andrew and I am the Director of Disability Services. It is my responsibility to provide academic and or environmental accommodations for students that have a documented disability. The first step in the process to become registered with my office would be to submit your supporting documentation. Um, for those of you who may have had accommodations in high school, I'm able to accept an IEP or 504, um, but sometimes, depending on the district that you hail from, I might need a little bit more robust information. But um, if you've had an IEP or 504 in the past, I would strongly recommend that you submit that to my office for review. If it's enough information, we can go ahead and get you registered right away. If I need a little bit more documentation, I can let you know what you would need. Um, I send letters of accommodation out um, through a platform called Starfish, which you'll become more familiar with. And basically I would notify your respective professors and academic advisor that you're registered with my office and they would see any of the accommodations that are granted to you. No diagnostic information is conveyed in that letter. So essentially, the only person who would look at the document that you submitted to me um, from your mental health provider or medical doctor would be me. Um, so in case there's any concern about you know, confidentiality, I can assure you that it is a, a confidential process. Um, it's a case-by-case -case approach, so I can't say that Diagnosis A leads to all of these accommodations, but in general, some of our more common accommodations would be access to extended time on tests and quizzes and testing in a distraction reduced environment. As Ms. Vicki Bush noted earlier, um, hopefully I'll have an opportunity to, uh, to either zoom in with you guys once your summer program begins or um, if it's an on campus thing at that point in time, I'll be happy to come meet with you and tell you a little bit more about what my office does. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Anthony Kane. I'm the Assistant Director for the Office of Residence Site here at Duquesne University. Um, some of what my role is across campus is to work with a lot of the people you've heard from so far today to serve as a liaison between our office and students who may be in need of support, whether that's helping students um, get familiar with the accommodation process or connect the students with their financial aid advisor or their academic advisor. Um, those are some of the things that I take care of and monitor through our office. Um, I know the burning question for a lot of you is when will housing information be available for incoming students? That information should be out within the next week. Um, we're just waiting for some of our upper level folks to approve off on the wording and the process as it will be for this upcoming academic year. Um, in that housing information, you will receive a housing agreement, um, which will help us understand like what your desire is for next year and whether you will be living on campus or not. You'll also receive a link to complete the My College Roomie, um, Roommate Selection Survey. And what this survey is, is an opportunity for you to complete a survey along with every other incoming freshman that plans to live on campus you all will be matched according to your compatibility. You have the option to click through and see various people's profiles and review information that the various students have posted and select someone to be your roommate for the next school year. If you're coming into Duquesne with someone already um, selected as your roommate, maybe a high school friend or a family member, you can still select that person as your roommate um, but you all would still need to complete the My College Roommate software so that way we can have it on file when we do our freshman housing accommodations. Following our last um, meeting with incoming students through the GSD program, um, one question that was brought up that I wanted to answer for the students on today was in regards to the housing 
for the one week summer period in August in comparison to housing for the year. Um, students will be relocated from their one week summer housing assignment to their fall 2020 summer housing assignment um, a few days before the freshman move-in day process and we will have our residence life staff available to assist students in you know setting up their new rooms and transitioning from one space to the other space so um, i just wanted to answer that question because it had come up before um, and then there were even some people who reached out to me afterwards about that we're excited to have you all on the bluff and we look forward to getting you moved into our beautiful residence halls in August. If you all have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me directly um, or contact our office at the information was still on the screen. Go Dukes. Hi everyone, my name is Erica Thon. I'm the Director of Enrollment and Engagement for the School of Education. I just wanna echo everyone else's um, congratulations on your acceptance to Duquesne. It really is an amazing um, place to learn and grow as professionals and as people. Um, in the School of Education, we offer three different certification levels. Um, the first being early childhood education, the second being middle level, and the third being secondary, where you can choose the concentration level of history, math, or English. Um, we get our students out into the field very early, as early as the second semester of your freshman year. So you'll get to see a diverse group of classroom settings because we are lucky enough to be located in Pittsburgh. Our students are getting to see classrooms in an urban setting, in a suburban setting, in private settings, as well as um, boarding schools even. So we try really hard to give our students as many different opportunities to be in the classroom as possible. Um, not only do we offer diverse student teaching and field placement settings in right here in the local area, but we also have some really awesome study abroad opportunities for our students. And um, they have the opportunity to student teach abroad in one of um, 17 different countries that they are able to choose from um, through our partners with uh, Global, Global Gateways for Teachers. Um, so we are really working hard to get our students in as many different settings as we can. Um, but we also are you know, very aware about what's going on currently. So we have been ahead of the times with technology. Um, all of our students take uh, instructional technology courses so that, you know, in the current situation we're in, they are still prepared um, to teach and to keep their classrooms going as usual. Um, we also have dedicated staff members who work for your success and to help you in any way that we can. Um, we also have a large um, graduate program or a large number of graduate programs um, that our undergraduate students can um, begin taking graduate courses that pair nicely with their undergraduate degrees while still um, undergrads. So that is just a little bit about the School of Education. I too will drop my information in the chat. So if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out. And again, welcome to Duquesne.